Hey everybody, I'm Caleb. And I'm Amanda. Today at church, we're gonna show you what's inside this big box. And we're gonna tell you all about it. It'll help us learn something really cool about Jesus. So come on, let's go. It's, it's show, show and tell, tell time. time. Okay guys, so today we're doing show and tell. You have to bring something from home to show your friends. And you have to tell them all about it. Show and tell. Well, Caleb and I have this really fun, super huge show and tell box, and we put something inside of it to show you guys today. And we can't wait to tell you all about it because it's gonna help us answer today's big question. Hey, you know what that means? It's, it's question, question time. time! That's right! And today's big question is, what can you show and tell about Jesus? Okay, if you're ready to see what's inside the box, would you put your hands up like this and wave them and yell, ah! Are you ready? Let's go! Ah! All right, I think they're ready. Let's show them, <laughs> Caleb. Okay, guys, check this out. It's a tent. A little mini tent. That's right. Because we couldn't fit a real tent Yeah, in this no box. way. No way we could do that. And guess what? We've got some really cool things in here that we can use to make our own. Some paint. And then all of this stuff. Yeah, dump it. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Okay, you guys, we've got all our supplies. Caleb and I are gonna build tents, and then we're gonna have you guys vote on which one you like the best. Caleb, are you ready? So ready. All right, here we go. On your mark, get set, go! go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do my blue paper first. We gotta fold it. We gotta make it look just like that. Yeah. Fold it in half. Like that. Oh, and then yeah. again. Which color do you think I should use? Probably both. Yeah. We'll find a way both? to do both. So um, it's like, it's like that. I'll put it like this. This would be a nice accent. Folding both of these papers at once is kind of difficult. Yeah, you kind of played yourself there. Yeah. Because I'm already, my tent's already built, and now I'm decorating. Let's get a quick peek on how she did that. <laughs> oh, once you're, once you're folding in quarters, you do that, and then you do the triangles. Thanks, the other Amanda. way, though. Thanks, Amanda. No, 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 no. This way. There you go. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> All right, so I put some red stars on mine. Now I think I'm going to add some paint. Be crazy. I'm gonna use this pink paint, my favorite color. Think you shake them? Think? Yeah, sure. Ooh. Sure. Amanda, have you ever been in a really big tent before? Yeah. One time my friend had this tent that had like a bunch of different rooms in it. So it wasn't like just one room in the tent. There was like it was a, a tent couple of rooms. With multiple rooms? Yeah, like a tent mansion. It was oh, pretty cool. I'm gonna put multiple rooms in my tent. Alright, I'm look gonna at put these some. Oh, those are great. So cute. I think I'm gonna add one to my tent. You guys, I'm gonna put some sparkly gems on the inside of my oh. tent. It's gonna be classy. Gem. <laughs> You're building a classy tent? Building a classy <laughs> tent. Man, I'm gonna use these stars. J Ooh. Just like when I was camping with my friend, I could see the stars really well. Yeah, add some stars to your tent. All right, guys, I'm gonna put this green marker on the outside of my tent. Ooh. It's gonna be like little windows. Oh. Oh, that didn't work very well. Yeah, you gotta press. Gotta press and squeeze. Whoa. Oh, there you yeah. Go. Check got that it. dot out. That's good. Do you hear that, Amanda? Oh my gosh, we only have a couple more seconds left. I feel like I have so much more stuff oh. to do. Okay, 10, 9, oh. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Amanda, yours looks awesome. Thanks, yours is cool too, Kayla. Why'd you, why'd you do it like you did? I added a bunch of stars because I thought that was pretty cool. And I added polka dots Whoa. on the inside with the paint and colored around it with crayon. That looks and so And added a bow great. on top, so I thought that was fun. Tell awesome. me about yours. Okay, so mine, I wanted to do a different color on the inside. So I put the orange one there with a bow on top and then some stars wow. inside. Ooh, and there's jewels on the bottom of yours too. Yeah. All right, everybody, now it's time to vote. Okay, so if you think Amanda's tent is the best, I want you to put your hands over your head like this. Oh, Good job. Right. And if you think Caleb's is the best, put your hands over your head like a tent. 
Oh, oh man, Amanda, I think you're the winner. Yes. Oh, you deserve job, that Caitlin. one. Good job. So for show and tell today, Amanda and I, we showed you these tents that we built and how we built them together. That's right. So right now, we're gonna check out our Bible story and find out how these tents are gonna help us answer today's big question. What can you show and tell about Jesus? I have the Bible app right here on my phone. Let me pull up today's Bible story. Awesome, here it is. It's a story about Aquila and Priscilla, and they were tent makers. On the count of three, let's all push play together. Are you ready? One, two, three, play! Slapstick Theater. Aquila and Priscilla. This is Aquila. hey Who was a Jewish man who was married to Priscilla. Hi! They lived in Italy until Claudius Caesar forced all of the Jews to move out of Rome. Get out of here! So they went to live in Corinth. There, they worked as tent makers and met Paul. Hey! Who told people about Jesus. Hey, come on! Paul lived and worked with Aquila and Priscilla while he was in Corinth, telling people about Jesus. Aquila and Priscilla went on a trip with Paul to the port of Ephesus. Wait, see you in a bit. While they were in Ephesus, they heard a man preaching named Apollos. That's me. Hey, hey wait up. up! Huh? And taught him more about God. Oh, all right. They remained friends with Paul. Yeah! and helped him in his mission to tell people about Jesus. Hey, thanks for that! They once even risked their lives for Paul. Oh, thanks for that too! When Aquila and Priscilla went back to Corinth, they gathered people to their home for church. Paul told the people in a letter that he was thankful for Aquila and Priscilla and their service to the church. What a cool story! So Paul was telling everyone about Jesus when two new people moved into town. That's right. Their names were Aquila and Priscilla, and they were tent makers. Wait, tent makers? The tents! That's right! Just like how we showed you guys the tents we built and told you about stories when we used to camp in real ones, Aquila and Priscilla told everyone they could about Jesus. And they were tent makers. That's right. Hey, show and tell. Aquila and Priscilla showed God's love and told everyone about Jesus. You guys, we can do that too. We can show God's love and we can tell everyone about Jesus. I think we just found the answer to today's big question. But first, we're gonna give you guys a chance to answer it all by yourselves. It's time to call Max the mic. All right, guys, you have 30 seconds to see if you can come up with the answer to today's big question and tell it to Max. The question is, what can you show and tell about Jesus? Okay, on the count of three, everyone shout, hey, Max the mic. Ready? One, two, three. Hey, hey Max, Max the, the mic. mic. Max the mic. That's me. We know you.
Hey, thanks, Max. You guys did it. You found the answer to today's big question. What can you show and tell about Jesus? Let's all say the answer together. I can show God's love and tell everyone about Jesus. Good job, you guys. Just like Aquila and Priscilla, we can show God's love in all kinds of ways. That's right, and we can tell everyone we know about Jesus. Hey, we found the answer to the big question. That means it's time for Random, Random Dance, Dance Party! Party! Everyone, on your feet for the dance party, come on! All right, DJ in the back, hit it! That was awesome. Okay, now stay on your feet because it's time to worship. That's right, everybody. Let's sing and dance for Jesus. 